Welcome, Scorpio. Oh, we already got a card out. Here we go. The Hermit in Reverse. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Terrio. Terrio. Oh, I can't even talk. Welcome to Charlie Tarot. And feel free to subscribe. So we are going to jump right into this reading. Let's see what is coming in. Um, I am going to use the AF Tarot deck here. We have that Queen of Cups in Reverse. And then we are going to use the Soul Cards Tarot for the main spread and then I'll pull some cards in the end to see how this person feels about you. All right, so we have the seven of wands, six of rings and three of pentacles with the two of wands energy. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have you coming in in the moon energy, this person coming in as the seven of wands, the ace, the Eight of Cups and the Fool. Oh, this is interesting. Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor once again. Three of Wands, Judgment, Three of Swords, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. Someone here is super attracted to you very much. There could be a fear of getting hurt, though, by this person. Um, this feels like an energy that is a bit scary because how they're coming up. They're coming up as the emperor, okay? Now, the emperor is very serious. Uh, they have a very strong belief system. They're very, very, very direct. Um, so you're definitely going to hear the truth about from this person on what they want, how they, you know, however. I feel like this energy is having you in a way, maybe not before, but now is bringing down your guard here with the seven of wands. There is a need to protect your heart, but it also could be a feeling of not being, you could be showing that you're scared or not interested. And I feel like that's where this person could be coming in a bit strong with the Emperor. Um, the Queen of Cups is coming up in reverse. So it's more of an energy of like emotionally, like <sighs> feeling emotionally overwhelmed when it comes to this person. Uh, there is a lot of mystery that is coming in, like not really knowing what's to come so I do see is that there is some equal give and take and com collaboration here and building something with this energy but I feel like it's so hard to trust people and what they say right um the hermit is coming out in reverse so I do feel like there is a feeling of a little bit of withdrawal within this connection. But the only thing is, I feel like this person doesn't want to walk away. And I don't feel like you're wanting to walk away because the challenge is there's a strong connection. But there is also a very unique energy with the Seven of Wands, which is stating that they're setting some type of boundaries, like they're protecting their heart too. Okay, and I feel like they're serious about Scorpio and they don't want any games. They don't, they, they want to communicate and be, you know, equal give and take also. And I feel what this energy is like really wanting to move forward, but it could be hard to move forward if there's always doubt and scare fear running you okay and i'm not saying not to be cautious or anything like that because that's not the energy i'm getting i'm feeling like there's just been so much bs right when dating there's so much you know everything's kind of like a joke with not a joke but kind of when 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 you're dating you just don't really know like if it's true or not you some people never follow through and they don't call back right um, they don't, they say they're going to call and they never do. So I feel like you are dealing with an emperor. Um, this could be a more mature energy, be older, or this could just be more like someone who can, um, ease your mind a bit. 
I wouldn't say to fully trust somebody in the beginning, but I would say to, you know, it, I feel like it's it, there's some reassurance that is coming in and this person does look at you as a six of cups energy. They look at you as a very strong connection, like very, this could be somebody from childhoods for some of you guys, but just like a, a soulmate connection. And they're wanting to move in fast with you. Okay, they do. They don't, what you don't see coming though is the five of pentacles. So with this energy, it can feel like you're being left out in the cold. But whatever they said or said there, but they're protecting themselves too. So I feel like it's it's both people needing to put in the effort, okay? Um, because in the outcome, they're serious about you. The Five of Pentacles just feeling some type of loss or this could be financial issues. Um, maybe why they, you know, maybe they're having struggles or, or at this time with finances. Um, they could be, you know, an entrepreneur or something like that. The Emperor is more of a, an energy that can run its own business. Okay, and then we have the emperor and the outcome, somebody really wanting to move forward with you. Okay, and there is like this three of swords that's like blocking it in a way. Still a lot of healing needed between the both of you. Maybe you've both been through trauma or been through a lot of BS with other people, but there is a very, very strong connection and a passionate beginning that is here and it's taking off pretty quickly, but also I do feel like there may be um, some challenges of like maybe wanting to walk away, but then doesn't want to walk away right so there's a new beginning starting up and I feel like this is just um only time kind of will tell I feel like I just did the whole reading already but let's go ahead and get the seven of wands okay so we have death this person is definitely wanting some change they could be ending um other options for some of you guys they could be really wanting to transition and move on from anything that could be holding you guys back here let's get the moon because death does not this does not feel yeah see it's a challenge to walk away but there's not i don't feel like this is ending i do feel is that there is there in that thing is like i need change i need the Queen of Cups is coming up in reverse, which is overly emotional, right? That is overthinking or just feeling scared and wanting to run, right? And I feel like you're wanting to run because the Eight of Cups is running. What you don't know, it scares you. That's the energy I'm getting, okay? This person probably thinks you're gonna end it all the time. Um, we have Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is saying that there's some type of feeling of, of um, financial loss. See, I feel like there, there there could be some hardship going on here as to why sometimes things don't, and if this is a new situation, maybe the person doesn't want you to know that they're having some hard times. But there could be other factors affecting this connection. And they are worried if you do walk away. They don't want you to walk away. What is this fool? Because in the mutual energy, you have the fool with the six of wands and the two of wands. It's making a choice. It's having one foot out and one foot in. Should I stay or should I go? And I feel like you're going to go. Both of you want to go. Your future planning, hanging out. I feel like there's just a lot of pain that you went through here. And it's hard to believe that this person may be someone following through with their words, right? Someone meaning what they say. And it's kind of like looking back at their actions. Have they followed through? Have they been doing what they're saying? And if not, then yeah, then it's probably just like the rest. But if they have been following through, if they have been showing you interest, you know, and discussing and everything like that with you, then yes, they're wanting victory. They're wanting to move forward with you. Okay, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, very clear. Six of Cups, soulmate connection. Yeah, they see a future with you. They're waiting, they're waiting for some type of progress. They're wanting more expansion, okay? They're wanting growth. They see a future with Scorpio. What is this Knight of Swords? It's very a bit impulsive though with the Knight of Swords, like they're just wanting to rush in. But also they want, they but they could be having some self-control too, okay? Temperance is all about blending energies about patience and doing things in moderation so they could be holding back a lot 
um, here. And also, there could be things that they're hiding that they're not telling you, but that does not mean it's another person. This situation, I feel, it, no, this person is not being fully honest about their situation, especially if it's too early in the connection, okay? Um, so there is things here that they're wanting you to be patient because they're working on some things that they cannot tell you about. And maybe they're ashamed or maybe they're struggling, but they don't want you to, to know that yet. Okay, there's a lot of, again, factors I feel that's going in here. So it's just asking you to have patience with this energy, which I feel like, you know, it's not easy because, yeah, it's kind of, it's just so crazy to see the emperor. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. They, they think you're confident, gorgeous, creative, passionate. They've, they've seen you, you're very intimidating to them. They're very attracted. And that's probably why um, they want to move forward to you. They just see a lot of growth coming in. Yeah, and a message coming in and the outcome from the emperor and the hierophant. This is being on the right path. The strong spiritual, you guys could have a very strong spiritual connection or went through some things where you guys connected on an emotional level. I feel like you may have never met somebody like this before. Somebody like kind of rubs you the wrong way, but they're just being truthful and they have things that they're not going to mention to you right away, especially if it has to do with their business. But clearly they're very attracted to you. And then we have the page of wands, which is saying that there is fearlessness and they want to move forward and they see potential in this and they're very curious. They want to see what you're doing in the outcome. So, very interesting, guys. Very interesting, Scorpio. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, we have children. Some of you guys could have children. Uh, let's see. Yep, religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious and upbringing. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honesty. Discuss your feelings with each other. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and let your friends help you. Yeah, this could be feeling like a very emotional time, not got, wanting to get hurt. It's like hard to believe this person or something because of probably all the people you encountered, right? We have confusion, connection, and romance. Yep, that could, that could be the feeling of confusion and knowing your worth. So we have number 32, 41, and 24. So we have five, five, and six. You know, there is change, but there also is victory, okay? So there could be a little bit of confusion, but there is a very strong connection here and romance coming in. So this, I feel, is what needs the patience to come in. I mean, this is pretty interesting reading, um, and I really love this reading because it seems that there is two people that really care, but both you know, they're scared you're going to leave too fast and you want to leave fast because you don't want to get heartbroken. Interesting. Interesting. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope this helped and resonated with you guys. I hope it did. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.